Welcome viewers, and today I have a super exciting toy review, and it's going to be kind of like my Christmas present to all you amazing subscribers and viewers or whatever, because this stuff is awesome. Yeah. Aha! Oh, yes! It is all the brand new and the latest Mega Construct Pokemon sets from the line. How crazy is this, guys? I managed to get most of these for Christmas, maybe a couple before. But, they're here now. So today I'll just be basically showing you uh, the packaging for all the latest sets. I won't be unboxing any in this one. That's where you guys come in. You can go down in the comments and tell me which ones you want to see first. Because it, as you can see, I have a lot to choose here. And I have a lot to do before this. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Without further ado, let's start looking at some of this amazing packaging. And first off, here we have Series 11 Poke Balls. They are all looking very nice, and we have three new ones introduced into the Pokemon world. And oh, who is that? It's Happiny. So first off, we have some very new and interesting packaging. So as you can see, the Poke Ball's missing like half his packaging. He's only being covered by this little tiny piece of packaging here in the back. So he's quite open he's exposed unlike uh, compared to other packaging for the other 10 series they were mostly covered in packaging with only half a poke ball sticking out unlike this and they had this picture on most of them except for series 10 which shows what was inside them which is really helpful and nice and they also featured this blue um blue packaging color rather than this but I guess I don't mind the colors so much. It's just that, um, I don't know, it's going to take a lot to get used to, I feel like. I mean, it's missing so much packaging, but I guess that is better for displacive pur purposes or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah, they brought this back, guys. Woo! I'm so happy. They finally brought back the displacive pictures on the side, so you can see what the Pokemon should look like after it's done being built, which is really nice. I always like that. I said they took that away in series 10, but they brought it back now, and I'm happy about that. But I also have to say, this is a really good season of Pokeballs here because we almost have all new Pokemon. But as you can see, we have the Nidoran boy form, a cute little Growlithe, a little Ralu, which is so cute since it's a little oddish. Oh, look at that little happy boy. And Abra. And can you believe it? He's made a comeback since Series 1, so he's made a comeback in Series 11. Good job for you. Oh, oh, and wait, how could I forget? We have the All Hallowed and Favored Happini. Yes, I know you guys have been really excited for little Happini here. And honestly, she's kind of cute. Look at that, she's like a little egg in pants. And, uh, yeah, so here's just the sides of all of them. As you can see, they're pretty cute looking. Oh, I love those legs on that boy. He's so cute. And yeah, the only new ones are really Nidoran, Happini, and Ralu. All these other three released in different things. Now, let's move on to our power packs. Boom! So, yes, I was so excited for this one. His little ponyta. Ah, oh, it's just so cute. So, this is a really cool one they did, actually, because I like that they, you know, the new head mold with that cute little muzzle, that's so cute! But also that, you know, they finally made some brand new fire pieces, because they had to make a new fire piece for her spine, and these little things here, and her tail and mane. So this is really cute, and I even like this little power feature they gave her, so that's why it's counted as a power pack. But yes, this is adorable. Here she is on the side, coming at ya. And here's the back, and basically just show stuff we already knew about. And yeah, she's absolutely adorable. She looks so cute standing up. This one looks like it's just gonna be too cute. And now here we have Abra. And this boy, he's the one of the evolved forms of this little guy, Abra. So, you know, he has a big brother now. Good for him. And yeah, this guy, he's looking really cool. I like the legs and the feet. It's good that they included the big feet because I know he had that. And I love his mustache. That is a long mustache boy. And I also love the ear pieces here. That's so cute. I also love how he's holding his little spoon. <laughs> That's actually the first spoon released on the Mega Construct Pokemon line. So this is a momentous occasion. It's a spoon! 
But yeah, and then he's got a little power up attack right here. There he is on the side looking really cool. And on the back here, it's showing other sets you can collect. And Abra again, so there we go. There's our power pack. Here is our new versus pack, which is Poochiana and... Oh, wait, why did my voice crack right there? Which is Poochiana and Mudkip. Oh my gosh, I'm dying from cuteness. This is too cute. I mean, look at little Poochiana. He just looks so cute. And here we have little Mudkip. He's looking also really cute. Look at those little paws they put on his feet. That's detail right there. And that little waterfall with the little um, pebbles splashing off. That's that's just too cute. And hey, has anyone noticed that it looks like Poochiana's back legs popping out of the socket? Yes, here we go. This is our new versus pack. No, that reminds me actually. There's a second versus pack actually. I just don't have that one here quite yet, but it's coming. And yes, here they are again in all their cuteness. And little Mudkip, he looks so cute sitting there. And um, yeah, there we go. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to unbox this. Next up, we have our three new jumbo packs for this wave of Pokemon. But yes, these three are looking awesome, and they're actually not as big as I thought they'd be. So the packaging's interesting, as they're already half opened anyway. But it's kind of hard to see in there, but you can see loose pieces vaguely, like right there. There's a little bag. So it's a slot, not big enough for pieces to fall out of, but it's a little interesting. I guess it is pretty cute that they did that because it makes the poke ball stand out a lot more so then you just see this beautiful round packaging and this is actually probably the skinniest packaging I've seen from Mega Constrike like look at that that's so skinny and that's beautiful and then here on the back it just shows its other little friends that you can collect so that's awesome oh no yeah so anyway, here we have Mew and little meow and he actually comes with a little speech bubble so that's really cool and then we also have little charmander which i i have mixed feelings on his mouth it, it kind of scares me but yeah i think it's really cool that they made these three jumbo forms and it's good that we got another uh legendary on the table but me mew was already released in another set but she was just tiny now she can be bigger and we can have a giant mewtwo and mew's showdown properly but yeah, they should really release more legendary Pokemon online. That would that would be very interesting. And here we have a brand new thing that Mega Construct just did. It's a building box, which features a Pikachu and an Eevee, which were released in actually quite a few different forms. But hey, I'm not going to judge because we got a cute little Winky Eevee, and I think that's a new Pikachu, I believe. Um, maybe. I don't know. It's been a while since I opened a Pikachu now that I think about it. But it looks like he has wider ears, I think. And different feet. Really pointy. And also his tail. But the tail might have been... I don't know. The tail looks kind of wider, but I'd have to compare it to the last most recent one. But yes, here we go. It looks adorable with all its little colorful colors. And it looks like we got some exclusive pieces like that little window and fence and poke ball right there on the fence I mean, the, the, the side of the box we have other little forms or things you can build from this little um bridge and windmill that's adorable and here on the back it just shows you more sets you can get Oh, right, right here it does. But then over here it shows you other possible things you can build. So this is a bit similar to the Minecraft building boxes, I believe. Because it just features a bunch of random pieces, so then you can just build what you want. And it has two little Pokemon on top of that, so that's pretty cool. And over here we already knew about these two awesome sets. And then also here on the side of the box it shows us all the contents inside and very nice list so it looks like we got a lot of pieces in here and different varieties and such so that's really cool also did you guys see that we get a special brick separator come on i could have used that like 10 pokemon ago do you know how hard it is to take a piece off when you accidentally put it in the wrong spot and also it's really cool i forgot to mention that this box doubles as a storage box so that's why it opens um, like from here and it's hinged so then you could probably just open it up and then it's a nice storage case for you again. And last, but certainly not least. 
Gengar. Yes, so here we have our Gengar boy. Oh, he's so cute. And he's released in another format finally, so yee. Alright, so people that don't know this, Gengar is only released in one other format, and that was a Comic Con exclusive. So, yeah, if, if you've seen how expensive those are, then you can understand that uh, it's very hard to get at one of those. So, unless you actually went to Comic Con and bought it for the original price at the $40, you, you might be out of luck unless you have like $200 or $300 now. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy how much the original of this went. Like, you know, his, his, his first brother. And yeah, that's kind of crazy to think of, but yeah, they finally remade him and they have him in a new set with this cute little cave entrance thingy and yeah, a little fence. And they finally released him again, so now he's not as expensive and you can finally have your own Gengar now. And I think the only exclusive based on what I've seen from packaging stuff is that his eyes are just a normal red color while the Comic Con exclusive, he has like really shimmery red eyes or something. I don't know. I think he has special eyes in the other one. And then maybe some differences with the hair spikes, maybe. Something like that. But yes, then here on the back, um, it just shows him front and back. Then here, we also it also shows him this cute little house thingy. That's adorable. And hey, those things actually glow in the dark. That's pretty cool. And then down here it just shows these three which I just showed you previously. So yeah, there we go. Ooh. But yes, there we go. We have all the latest sets, um, except one, but I'll throw a picture in later in this video. But he's coming soon. And yeah, also thank you so much guys for letting me know about these the Series 11 coming out when they were first coming out and we couldn't get them here. It helped me be alert and ready to snatch them up at the chance when I had to. So, uh, yay, good job guys. Kudos to all you amazing people who told me about these, and thank you. Well, anyway guys, thank you for joining me today, and make sure to stay tuned for all this amazing unboxing that will be happening. And yeah, just thanks for watching everybody, and make sure to stay tuned for the year 2020, since by the time this gets posted, it'll probably be New Year's Eve, or maybe first video of 2020, we'll see. But it's going to be a great year, I'm going to put lots of new things on the channel, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And it's going to be a great year, guys, let's make 2020 the next best year. So, I'll see you guys later, and Happy New Year! Also, Merry Late Christmas, everyone. Hope this works since it's late and all. But Merry Christmas. Hope everyone had a good one. See you next year.